Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be clearing along uh, to the Kaelid Ruin, Kaelid Catacombs, should I say, and then we'll be doing the last few dungeons up this way. And that'll be the the lower area of uh, of Kaelid Sword. When I say lower, I mean like down the cliff. All this bit here is kind of kind of higher, almost plateauish, I guess you'd say. Uh, so we've got the got the catacombs to go first. We're going to make our way over there now. Obviously, we're starting out from the south, so that we can get on in there. So we'll loot. Um, starting from this end because um, it seems to just make more sense. It's kind of cool that we can just sit here and have these guys fight each other so we can get some free free runes out of that. That's quite cool, actually. All of these little open open field battles that we can we can see as we go around. Yeah, I knew we were going to see something here. I can't remember if this is like an upgrade stone or if it is a um, Nash of War. I guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, there we go, it's a sombering stone. It's cool then. Don't bother about this bird, we can get straight in here. I can definitely think of better things to do with my time than fight this. Just gonna take a quick cut. Uh, <laughs> I bet that was all in silence, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Mic was turned off. Uh, I feel like that was mostly uh, self-explanatory, though. It's done now. Um, but basically, um, the obviously there was under, under the first set of stairs was the illusory wall, where the switch was, is a second one. I don't know why that was already open, but uh, usually you will have to hit that open to get the switch so that you can get into the boss, which, as you saw, is one of the shades and really doesn't have very much health. So, as long as it doesn't grab you or throw its green crap on you and trap you, um, you should be pretty much fine. Which leaves us with the uh, clearance of the, the final few bits of, of Caleb. Should be good. Gonna make our way over. We already did Isaacs, or whatever it's called. 
So, we got the Kaelid Ruins, and we'll just tag it as a, as a position. I don't remember there being anything particularly amazing over here, but we'll go and make sure we've just got it on the map, because it makes me feel better. And then we can do the Jail, and then Gale Fort. Or Fort Gale, whichever way around this is so I can't really remember now. Uh, so, I don't really want to aggro you, really, but I guess we will. Quick. Lootage of some rock grease. We can find great hair, great dragonfly hairs, that's probably good for making some, some curative poison some poison cures, I should I say. Yeah, we're not very much here. Ah, we do have a downstairs cellar. Oops. That's full of babies, hello. Get it then. Interesting. This is like an easy place to die if you're not careful. Your door. I haven't been down here before. It's interesting, I didn't see this the last time I came in. And there is in fact a chest. And it is Meteoric Ore Blade. Yeah, you definitely want to come for that. Cool. I'm coming there. I'm <laughs> coming this in the live stream. I love it. Yeah, I love it when I find things like that. It's good. It's good. Right. Just natural discovery. Now then, where is the entrance? It is. It should be pretty obvious because it's a fog gate, um, and it has. Um, as a gargoyle at the front. Good time, good. I know it's along this kit along this cliff. Here we go. In for the jail we go. No, don't do that. We don't want that. Excuse me. Take a rest, and we can level up already. Loving it. We are loving it. Uh, let's go with health. Let's go. Let's be a little bit more difficult to kill, shall we? Only a tiny amount, but we'll see. Rune arc. Right. We want this on. Uh, this place starts out where basically we just go all the way in, and then we have to work our way out. Rune, where are we? So it'll be mostly locked gates as we come on through. Uh, the boss is in like it's through like a drop off in one of the cages that we'll see. That's what I remember, anyways. It feels like forever since I did this on the streams. I'm really not keeping up very well. Um, yeah, so this way. free to uh, make your life easier for later. Poke you through the bars, otherwise they're going to explode on you. Um, and we'll try to re reduce that as much as we can. I don't think we can reach that guy. No. I was going to say we should see an enemy up there. Oh. Actually, we're not. It's the switch that we need. I think this door is locked. We have to go around. Drop it down there. Excuse me. Oh. 
done. So basically going to do a loop, it's going to show you where loads of different pieces of loot are, and then it's going to say, hey, hey, you can open all the loot up now. Just thinning out some numbers. Before we go down. Excuse me. Boss in here is dual S down, it's gonna be fine. Oops. Hello, Ratty, big Ratty. Oh man, Grays didn't count, huh? Got it. There's another big one as well, so I'm right? positive of it. I'm sure it's supposed to be like mummy and daddy. Got runes, we've got turtleneck meat. People beeping. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> do I have a firebomb? We do. Right, okay, let's. Let's just not get caught by that tree. Yeah, I've got a little path through. Aww. You. It really does not do very much damage. I'm wondering if there's something that scales it. I'd, I'd love it if Arcane scales it. Smithstone 5! We don't need it, that's the door that was locked before. It's a good idea to unlock it, so we have much freer access. And that's that, we're going to unlock this. That'll give us lots of access to lots of different things. But as we see, all the uh, the fire abominations start coming out towards us. We want to be careful about those. I don't think I wrote very good directions for these, so we're just going to head on up. Where are we at? This isn't Lost Way. What is this? <laughs> I didn't realise how cave-like this was. Uh, not cave-like. Maze, like you say. This is gonna take us all the way back around to where the drop off was, isn't it? Yes. Now, realistically, you don't want to do any fast traveling while you're in here because we've thinned the enemies quite considerably and we want um keep it that way. <clears throat> so this is gonna take us back to the grace. Yes. Yes, I don't think there's anything up here loot wise. So but I just want to check. I have to for, for my own sanity, I just have to double check everything. So then we'll come down, and we'll see where locked gates were. I mean, most of the loot is, is off the drop off anyway, but just to make sure. <laughs> uh, I feel like... No, it's not this one. No, not this one. One of them has another drop-off in it, and that's what's going to lead to the boss. Yeah, it's going to be our key back. Like a sashi. Golden rune. Yeah, yeah, 
down in a minute. This. There we go. So in terms of important loot, we are supposed to get in here uh, ashes from the boss. Flame grammy strength is from the fort. So we need to get pillory shields. Once we defeat the boss, we need to make sure. Oh no, I'm going to die. Oh no, we didn't. That was lucky. Oh no. I'm not prepared. They need to fall off there. Stop that, sir. Please stop that. Excuse me. No. Fair. That should be enough. <laughs> Sucker. I mean, probably could have all killed it by now if I'd have just attacked it like twice with that. That done. Dolly of Echocade, yes. So I'm missing the shield. Missing the shield. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess we're going through again. It's not an important one. Pillory shield, it's called. We're going to get it. Have to get it. <laughs> I can't know that there's loot in here and not get it. Let me see if I can find it on, on here. Pillory shield, pillory shield. <laughs> I don't know if I actually got it on my notes. me that looks like loot there we go sorted I'm happy now We've got all the loot uh, so we can come out of the jail now happy in the idea that we have pillow shield which was pretty much straight down from from the grace so that shouldn't be too difficult to find now I'm gonna actually have a rest here and then head out. Give me lantern. Which basically just leaves us with Fort Gale. Also not particularly long. The uh, the main thing here is there's like two cats trapped in the middle of the, of the fort basically. So as long as we keep high I can cheese them which is real nice. Look at that free runes. Didn't mark it. No, 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 I'm busy. I'm busy. So it should be pretty much southwest, like kind of that way. Why can't I see it? That's at Fort Height. Do I have to go up? Yeah, that's it. Maybe. Maybe we have to go up. Problem with being aggro, I can't get the map up to see exactly where I need to go. Might have been better to uh, have teleported to the other one. Okay, let's do this. This seems like a little easier. <laughs> For some reason, so in the fort, we need to get the Star Scourge heirloom. What's that? It's a place that. Oh, it's a place we can go later. I'm going south right now. Going to the south. Cool. I love how it's all like molten brick stuff. 
Uh, this guy is basically doing crazy tricks. You'll get used to that. It's uh, Uncle Radan's mega trick, basically. Not as mega. God damn! I love how the knights are kind of similar, like depending on rank, but they actually have different abilities. It's real cool. We done now? See, so basically on the other side of this wall is two big cat guys. Oh man. <laughs> Ain't no one enjoying this. Oh man. You're just like, I don't even know what it is. Couldn't even get in. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have another go at stealing that loot. Once isn't enough for me to learn my lesson. There we go. Flame Pump Strength. It's worth it. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. I got what I wanted. Now we can head on up. And I think what we want to do is... not go that way. What we want to do instead is... Over here. It's basically a mini version of the actual Red Man Castle because we're basically going to do the same thing. And I suppose you could cheese those from here if you really wanted, but. We've got bigger cats to fry. Only one? That's only one here. Too. I was slightly off. It's two in the main castle. Yeah. I love how this is basically a mini version in, in almost every way. It's kind of funny, actually. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. That auto dodge is almost a hindrance to you, isn't it? Because it means this basically hits you. You don't actually try and dodge the attack retroactively. Instead, it's like button sensing. Kind of sad. And I assume it's like a certain time after I've pressed the cast button. Does that mean if you have like a differing cast speed, like normal cast speed, they, it's destined to only ever get hit by your spells? Come here, kitty. Come yeah, here, kitty. I can see that you're there. There we go. Lion's Claw. Now, while we haven't done many of the art artwork things, I think we're going to do that as a same video at some point, because it's just too many. Excuse me. No. Oh, we both missed. Wow, you have mega poise. <laughs> it did like nothing. Give me that please, Tosco Chilum, yeah! I can't remember what that does, what does that give you? Strength. Do we got everything but int. Int is way later. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't think I don't think sorcery is any more or less powerful than faith abilities. <clears throat> they always seem to do it this way around there. Int gets its stuff last. Uh, ah, yes, it's going to tele teleport us to Redmay Castle. We ain't too bothered about that right now. Loot Rise, have we got the... No, we don't have the guitar. That's going to be downstairs. 
everything else. Well, that's pretty much going to end the episode. Even with the mess up we did this in 25 minutes, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's just jump over here. Just makes me feel better to have a look at the ledges. Things like that hide there. <laughs> and somebody go, eee, missed some mushrooms. I'm like, oh god, come on. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> some things are ineffectual. Like this. Qatar. There we go. So that is the Fort Gale done. That is dead. I don't know if we can open this front door. Can we? Can we? Nope. Oh. So that will be the end of that in the next episode. I haven't actually decided if we are ready to face Radan. We don't have. Uh, some of the stuff that I want, so I'm probably going to check where they are. I expect them to probably be in uh, Mount Gil, maybe that's where, because that's where we haven't been, and there is an Erd tree here that probably has <gasps> the item that I want, so <clears throat> we're probably going to at least clear this stuff a bit before going. But um, yeah, you guys will find out soon enough, and uh, I'll see you all then.